Hello guys, and I think some conversations we have to start with tough question. A tough question that I often get in comments is why Ukraine has not won this war yet. And a tough question that I can put anyone who asks me this question, are you ready to fight after Ukraine fails? Because it's obvious Putin will not stop if he succeeds in Ukraine. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, you want to stop this war with the victory of democratic powers, please subscribe and help us fight because informational warfare is also very real. I feel it every day. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. And please know I love you and I'm super grateful. So, as this war continues, and soon, actually, it will be the 3rd February when we have war, Russian war in Ukraine, Russia tries to quarrel all of us and to make us feel weak. One of the very popular messages that it spreads via different global media platforms is that no one can win this war, so stop supporting Ukraine with weapons and other stuff. But... I have very first question. Typically, we stop doing something if we see this does not work. In case with Ukraine, all the supplies that we receive, weapons, machinery, information, we always use 100% effectively. We are super motivated, you know, it's about our existence, it's about the future of our country and our nation, so we don't have other choice but use it all effectively. When you gave us air defense systems like Patriot, you see, today Kyiv is considered to be one of the safest cities, most protected cities on the planet. And we are very effective at stopping their drones and their missiles and no more human victims, which is a huge change in this war and we are super grateful every day for this thing when we receive uh, various systems like atacams storm shadows HIMARS, all these new terms that i've learned during this year we are always very effective at using them and you always see that okay ukrainians got new supply and they are burning russian machinery they are destroying russian commander offices uh, we are always very careful to target military objects, to target infrastructure objects, and at the same time, always effective. There are no evidence of us doing something wrong with the supplies you give us. Only 100% efficiency. What is also true, there is no black market of the weapons as we deadly need them. And all the monitoring services that were visiting Ukraine prove that. So it is just Russia who tries to demotivate other countries supporting Ukraine with weapons that are so effective against authoritarian Russian army that does not plan to stop in Ukraine. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. This is the easiest way to demonstrate your solidarity and to spread information about Russian war crimes and Ukrainian efforts and resilience, which is also important. So, uh, with the very modest supplies, we've managed to destroy billion of dollar worth Russian machinery and thus save thousands of Ukrainian lives, which is invaluable and we are very grateful for that every day. And uh, also, uh, then uh, Russia adapted to that it switched to this long-term war exhaustion war it knows it will continue for years and unfortunately in this case time plays against us against ukraine and against our allies uh, now you see that almost every day they attack Kyiv, they attack other regions of Ukraine with Shahed drones, making us spend our supply of missiles and artillery to stop this. And when we will run out of this, because they observe how European Union and the United States, our main allies, are really slow at making decisions to uh, provide Ukraine with more weapons. They are trying to exhaust the existing supply and then perhaps they will target more important infrastructural objects like electricity supply or maybe gas supply or maybe even nuclear power plants. 
that's the plan it's very obvious everyone sees it but we are still in doubt i don't know why because everything that you invest in ukraine is used with 100 percent quality what is also important to understand if we fail are you ready to fight on the territories of your countries are you ready to mobilize your citizens i don't wish you that and i know people like to escape into their positive bubbles thinking it's not gonna happen to me i had a very same opinion until the february of 2024 because it's all very irrational it's all very impossible it's all very absurd and then it becomes your uh, reality and Russia knows it. It has switched into this mode of exhaustion and uh, it spread the messages like you cannot win this war so you don't supply Ukraine and let Russia march. And it will march to Poland, to Baltic states, to Czechia and it will cause lots of troubles inside of your countries. Actually, actually, it is cheaper to support Ukraine than later deal with Russia. Uh, and... Uh, we are very grateful for everything that we get from your countries, from your armies, from NATO. But this is not just spending money. This is investment in future normal world. This is an investment in a possibility not to have war on your territory. Plus, most of the money, they do stay in your countries. Uh, in the plants and factories that produce new weapons for your armies, we typically receive old used things that you don't need anymore. So all of these sums of money that may sound frightening, they are not sent as dollars or as euros to Ukraine. They are invested in your local weapon production and we get the leftovers, which is totally okay because it helps us to stop Russia and to save thousands of civilian lives, including children. And in future, what is better to have Russia at the borders of the European Union or to have strong Ukraine with very well-trained army capable of stopping orcs? I think the choice is really ob obvious. So if I had to sum up what we need, first of all, we need solidarity among the democratic powers who see Russia is evil and Russia has to be stopped. We don't want Putin to be the winner as Wall Street Journal named him in the section opinion. But yes, he was named as the winner of the year because sanctions do not work, people are tired and his war continues according to his scenario. Any kind of negotiations, any kind of frozen war is deadly for Ukraine because it will help Russia to regroup. They are capable of building missiles and artillery on their territories in Ukraine. We're working on that, but that's not a task for a year, especially when you're under constant shelling. Their authoritarian allies like North Korea, Iran, China supply them with everything they need secretly, with no bureaucracy, no waiting time. And... Uh, Ukraine does not get this message of systemic support. The majority of supplies, these are just like decisions not to let Ukraine die, but at the same time not to let Ukraine win. And what we need, this systemic approach of all of our allies, understanding this evil regime has to be stopped. And Ukrainians have sacrificed too much already to stop at this moment. What we need is weapons what we need is um radio electronic means of warfare because the one who controls connection who controls signals who controls things decide the end of the war and we need to be um this side because right now russia being a space country having all the satellites has no problems with that and it's not so difficult for our allies to provide this information and to finally decide on the systemics approach so that we are not begging, not uh, being like drip fat. Because guys, in this world where Russia wins, I know it means an end for me and people like me, but it also means an end of democracy because this will inspire other authoritarian regimes and this will be a very vivid signal. We are weak, we are in doubt, and uh, authoritarian regimes are very synchronized and work really good. And uh, 
um, I'm sure we don't want this kind of future and I'm sure all of this turbulence is temporary and I don't like recording videos like that but this is also a message that has to be heard so if I have to sum it all up I'd say invest in Ukrainian armed forces so that you, later in five ten years you don't have to fight by yourself on your territories also look at the level of efficiency of ukraine we spend all of your weapons very carefully and very effectively burning and destroying russian military targets on temporarily occupied ukrainian territories not provoking nuclear war or something and um there is no other options for us ukrainians but to continue fighting and i hope you are on the side of the good thank you for being friends do share the messages of my vlogs that you uh, support thank you for buying me coffees becoming my patrons and helping me film more uh subscribe to my instagram i'm pretty active there join my threads twitter and discord community and also we have a beautiful merch shop with t-shirts sweatshirts caps and cups and cushions and other stuff that has symbolic meaning in ukraine with ukrainian patterns and various important messages so uh, this is definitely a good present to remind about ukraine and to demonstrate your support and solidarity once again, thank you for being friends and Slava Ukraini!